Hello friends, beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading, and today is Thursday, June 9th of 2022, so we are pretty much in the swing of June, like already, we're nine days in, so that's pretty exciting, T minus 20 days to my solar return, so that's exciting, anyways, all of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message, so if your spirit has led you here, your guides, your ancestors, your higher self, the divine, or even if someone has shared this video with you and you decided to watch it, then there is something for you. Something here for you. So use your intuition to find out what it is. So, all right, let's give the cards a shuffle and see which one of our chakra energies would like to come through for us today. So, let's give the, let's cut the deck. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's see. Okay, our card for today, <clears throat> excuse me, um, card number 60, balancing the heart chakra. So we have more heart chakra coming out for us again. So last week we had balancing the heart chakra come out as well. So let's see the advice for today. The best way to receive love is by giving it. Being kinder to others can help to strengthen and open this chakra. What can you do each day to help those around you? Forgive old grudges and let go of the past. Avoid being too critical of yourself and others. Compliment others and go out of your way to spread kindness and bring balance to your heart chakra. So... Once again, we are being guided to bring balance to our heart chakra. So we are being guided to do that by forgiving old grudges and letting go of the past. So how in your own journey can you forgive old grudges? So what grudges are you holding on to that you need to forgive and remember that when we forgive forgiveness is for us it's not for the other person when we forgive it's for us to be able to let that go so that we don't hold on to anything that further affects us so when we forgive it is for us to release the tension and not necessarily for us to give mean it does not mean that we are giving the green light to anyone that has done anything any injustices towards us it simply means that we are not going to choose to dwell on it so um in which way can you forgive any old grudges so that they no longer hurt you? What is it that you have that you have been holding on to from your past that you need to that needs to be released? Um, so everyone is different in their own journeys of how they need to forgive and to release. Um, things that are, you know, blocking your own blessings. So, 
one thing it says you know being kinder to others can help to strengthen and open this chakra but also remember that being kinder to ourselves helps us to strengthen this chakra as well so I don't know if you can hear the garbage truck outside but the garbage truck <laughs> the garbage truck is coming by right now to let us know to take that garbage out so you know that's almost like perfect <laughs> for, for this reading that the garbage truck is going by as I'm talking about letting go of the past and forgiving old grudges that's pretty much what it is is taking the garbage out of your soul so holding on to grudges and not being able to let go and release the things that have happened to us in our past is that only affects us so it is kind of like just taking out the garbage of our own souls when we do these so it helps us to heal it helps our heart chakra to come back into proper balance and it helps us to feel better, feel better about ourselves and feel better about other people. So we are, <coughs> excuse me, we are all on our own individual journeys. And I feel that one of the lessons that we need to learn as people is that what one person does doesn't mean that the other person, another person is going to. So what one person may do or say to you does not mean that it is true nor does it mean that everyone else feels that same way so we need to understand that if there you know has if people there are certain people in our lives that have done certain things to us then that is that one person in that Situ that's what the one person in that one situation and that's it we can't put that onto everyone because that's really not fair so the number six sixes have to do with balance harmony and unconditional love so that is what I feel that we are being guided to give out so that it is easier to receive so that's the message for this wonderful Thursday. I hope that you all enjoyed and resonated with this message. And if you did, then please feel free, no pressure, feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, and leave a comment down below and let me know how you balance your heart chakra. So thank you once again, and I will see you in the next one. Hold the light.